Welcome, in front of me is a Samsung Galaxy A55 and today I will show you how you can enable power saving mode on this phone. So to get started, pull down your notifications by swiping down from the top of your screen and then swipe down once again to extend the list of toggles that you can well, mess around with. In any case, one of those toggles should be a power saving toggle, which for me is visible on the first page right over here. But if you don't see it on the first one, you can swipe to the left and this will show you additional pages. Once you see it, simply press on it. It will enable itself without giving you any kind of information what the hell it's going to change, uh, which is a kind of a downgrade to what Samsung used to do, as you used to be able to press on the text and it would actually give you info about it. Uh, but we can also hold this toggle, which will take us to the settings. Um, I'm going to turn it off for the moment and we can scroll down and you can see some changes that will happen when enabled. So we have turn off always on display, limit CPU speed to 70%, decrease brightness by 10% and also turn off 5G connectivity. And below that you have limit apps and home screen. This is what you could consider a more extensive power saving mode, one that is just designed to straight up save as much power as possible and not very recommended. I'm gonna enable it in a moment just so you can see how that looks like. But going back to the these toggles right here, these refer to a traditional power saving mode and you can change some of them if you find it that you don't want some of those things to take effect. Maybe you don't want your phone to work slower with the CPU speed being limited, or maybe you don't want to lose the 5G connectivity. So you could just disable that and then enable your power saving mode by clicking right here. Now going to that last option, if I toggle it on and enable it, there we go, you can see that this is how your home screen will now look like. And you can also see that it went from basically having four day battery life to having 12 days and 15 hours battery life. Now this is with the battery being at 99% and uh, the time that it shows right here isn't accurate. It should be somewhere in the ballpark of this time but the reason it's not accurate is because if I drop down the brightness as an example you can see it doesn't change whatsoever. This is one of those things that should impact the battery life uh, in a visible way but yet it doesn't. So you can obviously based on that gather that the phone does not take in consideration any of these toggles that are right here and if they are turned on or off. As an example, if you turn off Wi-Fi, you will have a better battery life. If you turn off location, same thing. If you lower down your brightness, same thing. Uh, but the phone just completely kind of glances over that and ignores it altogether. Now, one more thing to be said, when utilizing this super power saving mode, to quit it, you can just click right here on these three dots and select turn off power saving mode. And if you want to go back to the normal power saving mode later on, you will need to hold the toggle and turn it off right here. So when you toggle on the power saving mode, it won't automatically enable this part as well. So anyway, with that being said, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.